here and today we have another car vlog. I have my beautiful daughter Lexi in the car. Hello. She doesn't want to show her face because I don't want to break in my camera, number one. But feel good. yeah, she doesn't feel good. It's the time of the month. You know how we all get. So we are on our way. Today's Friday. I just got done filming my KVD mis makeup mystery box. And we are on our way. We got to go to Walmart because I got to get like mouthwash, different things for the house. And then we have to go to ShopRite, which is a grocery store. Because the only thing we have in the house is like meats, like stuff you have to cook. Yeah, it's the first time I've seen the mirror. I'm like, dang. Do you, I remember, okay. listen, living. I was living at Grandma's house. And uh, I had my first car. It was a 95 Hyundai Elantra. Okay? And I was 19. On my 19th birthday, I got it. Well, you know me and um, we would always, you know how that was, mm -hmm. right? And so, she went by Grandma's house. And she took a bat in her car. Her sister was driving. She was on the passenger side. And she knocked the the thing because that's what we used to back and forth right and I was like I got up the next morning to go to work because prior to that when I worked at Walmart you know how to walk when yeah. I told you that you know and when I got in my car I was all excited and I seen all this glass and I'm like what the hell and I still didn't know it was my uh yeah. side mirror right and I was like what the hell is all this glass for I looked I didn't see this broke until I start driving I wanted to <laughs> walk and I was like that Bitch, I knew she did it because then she called. This is when beep, we had beepers. We didn't have like uh -huh. cell phones. And then on the house phone, she was like, "I broke, broke your window." <laughs> I was like, "Okay." And then that's when, uh, you know, I was with some friends. I was over, to, you know, house, and uh, I was like, they had came over to see me. And um, then Tyler was little, so. There, were, there was only one McDonald's in Bridgeton at the time. So I was like, can you take me to McDonald's? And I didn't have Tyler with me, thank God. But I remember having my friends, and I was in the back seat, and the one guy, uh, he was like, don't live around here. And I go, yeah, that, that's our house right there. He takes out a gun, and he starts shooting our um, car and stuff. That's the type of friends I hung with. And how stupid, there was a cop right behind us. And she, they were outside, and I was pissed because regardless how I felt about her, oh, yeah. her kids were Tyler's brothers, and I don't want to see nothing happening yeah. to her because back then you just fist fought, whatever. Yeah. You know, we're fighting over a boy, and the boy, guy was lying anyway. Uh -huh. He was telling her one thing and me one thing, but I was pissed. And um, of course, the cops came because I was known, and uh, they all blamed me. I thought it was me, and I took the blame for it, and I never spoke to them again. And every time to this day, they all want to come up and say hi and all that because I wasn't a rat but um there was they were in a gang called 31 deep and now there's only me four or five of them alive but got killed and whatever but yeah I couldn't believe they did that all the things I did that's one thing I didn't know was gonna happen I don't like so people that be doing stuff like that. No. Nah. Well, I was bad. I was, like, say, I was really, yeah, I don't, really I don't bad. Like, I don't like boys that do that stuff. Mm -mm. Or if you're going to shop right. No, I'm going to Walmart first. That way, if we go to shop right, anything frozen, we can just go right home. So you got more of that body scrub. Oh, yeah. You like it? Because uh -huh. I, I kept bringing different kinds. Yeah, so. I got the pineapple and I like it. Oh, it smells good. So, a lot of people want to know, what do you think about having your mom as a YouTuber? Alexa doesn't even watch me. She doesn't tell her friends nothing. Nothing. She can care less. I'm too old. Too old. Too old. You're 21. Yeah. Look, I went here and cleaned my car out. Look okay. at that. They have, I, you pay $10 for a wash, and then the vacuums are like extra super packed. You gotta go faster than this one. What are you talking about? The car, listen, I've been in a lot of car accidents, okay? I'm very cautious, and I got you in the car. Well, that's why I'm, I don't go in the car when you're driving. And that's why your tire, I just had, we just had a First replace your tire, no, your windows That broke. was because I wasn't paying attention. I well, yeah. Curve, curve. Not because I don't know how to drive. When it happened, I was like, I didn't know this was done at first because it was just a case of the mirror was still there but it wouldn't pop back into place so it ended up ripping Ball off on, yeah, yeah after it kept hitting the stuff while I was driving is Hobby Lobby still up look at the cats playing over there I see 
there's houses behind there. Right. Remember where you park because you know I don't have a Why don't you park direction. at the back so we could just go in the back and come out the back? Well, like up here? Yeah. Have you been to that new dollar store? That's where like Family Dollar and all that. They have a dollar store there. there. It's a Dollar General. Or right. do is that a Dollar General? I think it's a Dollar General. All right, so we're gonna go into Walmart real quick, and um, of course, Lexi's going inside with me, and um, we will be back. Get um, I don't know. See, you're you're tan, so get like a bright color. You like those pastel colors, though, right? That's pretty. Is there any new makeup? Probably not. Oh, no, I didn't bring in my AirPods to Coley Roy. And there's no new makeup. I need a selfie stick. Do people still use selfie sticks? So. Oh, you know what? We need cotton swabs. Cotton swabs. All right, I'm going to go get the mouthwash while you're looking. A mouthwash down here. Mm -hmm. All right, oh my god, six fifty six for mouthwash. This is what we get. All right, guys, I am at my doctor's appointment uh what time is it i think we got like five minutes left so i wanted to come on here i did try to vlog in the car but because i'm holding the phone it was like very shaky and my husband has like a really low car so every little bump you know that's all you seen was that anyway so what i wanted to come on here for was in the beginning of when you first seen the vlog you see me out shopping with my daughter and stuff and then we went to walmart but then i wasn't feeling well so then we just went to shop right got some food and came back home so that's why it cut off like that so now i'm going to the doctors for a follow-up and also see why my blood pressure and my pulse and why i'm not feeling well to see what's going on to see if I need to get any more tests or anything like that. So the next clip you'll actually hear what the doctor says and then I'll come back on and explain like exactly what is going on. So I'll be back. So when I went to my doctor's appointment, um, he wanted me to come to the hospital get some tests done. Sorry, the nurse just came in and they admitted me so it's about 12 30 in the morning and the cardio doctor is coming in the morning to figure out a game plan what type of test we're going to do if i'm going to get that other one where they put like that camera and you're growing up to your heart because in 2015 i had it done and i had some blockage so it's been seven years they want to see did it get any worse and um yeah I just got to my room, so they're in and out, you know. They do have me on the monitor. Um, so I will get back to you guys in the morning when I know more what is going on. I know I can't eat or drink anything, and I am thirsty. All right, I will see you guys in the morning. I am literally having a hot flash. It is so hot in here that I haven't put the air conditioner on, and it's like, I'm still, I'm like having a hot flash. So, I am still in the hospital. They did a heart, like an echogram, which came back really, really good. Then they did a stress test, which came back with some blood. See, back in 2015, I had 30% blockage, so they didn't do anything about it. So now, with the stress test, it definitely showed more blockage. So I have to be transferred to Philly, and um, where they'll do it, and they said, if the blockage is more than 70%. They'll put the statins, which he's pretty sure it is. And if there's more more blockages, you know, then they'll do this heart surgery right then and there. So I am waiting. It is about seven o'clock at night on Thursday. 
and I already have my bed. They have a room already. I'm just waiting for Philly to bring the, I'm going to buy ambulance for them to come here to pick me up and go. So that could be any time. That could be at nine o'clock at night. That can be at one in the morning, three in the morning, eight in the morning. I don't know, it's a waiting game. But I hope they do it soon because I really, I mean, look, look, would you look how I look? Look at this. I'm telling you, I am like sweating. But I'm going to try to jump in the shower really quickly so I can get in the shower and stuff before I go. I don't know what time they're gonna do that catheter thing, but I will definitely keep you guys posted. I was shocked shocked um and this is why my blood pressure has been high and um and the blockage is it's the artery behind the heart i don't really know too much until i talk to the doctor there you know but yeah and my food was nasty because <laughs> i am on a cardi cardiac diet cardi something some kind of diet i can't have like things i want so anywho i will definitely keep you guys posted and um, I'm very nervous, very, very nervous. My kids just left. My oldest son, who's 26, I can see, he wasn't crying in front of me, but I can see his eyes were red. And um, I know he's worried and, you know, cause what happened with Lexi, right? And then, you know, if you don't know, she had a heart and lung surgery when she was 19, she's 21 now. But that was for something different, she had blood clots. Then look at my mom and me, and you know, I kinda like, I don't make it seem like it's that bad with my kids, you know? So that way they don't worry. I'm like, they do these surgeries all the time, which they do, but I don't, you know. So that is that. Anywho, I'm gonna try to jump in the shower and this lighting is horrible, holy crap. But yeah, I just wanted to keep you guys updated and um, I will talk to you guys when I'm in Philly. All right, bye guys.